Story time, I guess. I don't know. I can't go to bed. I think I'll tell you a story. So. I come downstairs. And, uh, My mum's decided to take my computer away. Decided that I shouldn't live here anymore. So I packed my bags. And I... Well, I pack a rucksack. I get my bike. And I ride my bike to my brother's house. My brother lives on, like, a big rural area. He has a field next to his house, and there's no real surrounding houses. It's dark. So I... Uh, I wander across the adjacent field over a little fence onto his back garden. There in the corner of the garden is some flowers that have rotted away now. Must be Five feet below the flowers lies my uh, dog in the ground. Now I need something to dig the dog up. So I go wandering around the outside of the house. Luckily the shed where he keeps the basic garden tools is open. I can quietly open the shed and get the uh, spade out. So off I go with my spade. Digging away. I'm not really used to the manual labour and it's extremely hard work. It takes me what must have been about three hours to get down to the dog. So, I jump into the hole, carefully try and lift the dog out. She smells like bad eggs, but she's not very rotten. She was just like she was when she came out of the house. 
Still smelling of smoke. I have trouble getting over the fence with her. Seem to uh, hold her with both hands and climb the fence. So instead, I carefully skirt around the side of the house. Taking care of the uh, stones in the driveway. Walk back down the driveway onto the road, leaving the bike behind, and set off back to the original home the home of the fire where it all took place in the beginning this whole mess it's about four miles uh, I don't know what time it is but it's still dark A couple of cars passed me on the way back, but I can see them ages in advance, and so I just duck off to the side into the hedge or the verge. It takes me, I don't know. Two hours walking with the dog and having to stop and rest. Walking with her some more. <sighs> I get back to the house. In my haste, I've forgotten the key to the back door. I lay the dog down on the grass. I try and carefully punch a hole in the conservatory window with the hammer. After repeated tap, 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 there's the sounds of the breaking glass, which seems very loud. I open the door and I can force the other door, which is on these slide locks things that go into the door frame. I go and pick up the dog.
hauled her through the place where she was lying when the fire took place near my computers. I put her down in the bedroom on the rug. I forgot my gas mask as well. The smell's not so bad now, but it, it's not great. The smoke covered everything in my bedroom. I open the windows wide open. I draw the curtains. And I get into a stinking bed. I breathe it in. The smoke that's covered everything the dog is staring at the wall the tongue Just sticking out a centimeter and blood still visible on the inside of her nose. She's kind of still covered in dirt. stare at the dog breathing in, breathing out the smell of smoke and burnt plastic A few hours later, the cavalry turns up. I don't know whether it was David found a dog or someone hearing the window broken, but they pretty soon realised uh, what had happened. They lifted me out of the bed. took me off to some institution and that was that